Hey everyone, and welcome back to another post from r slash entitled parents, the subreddit where people post stories of moms or dads who think that because they have kids, they're entitled to everything. Today we have three stories from the same OP. The first one, entitled mother leaves her son at a party so she can go smoke weed. So this story happened last summer. My stepfather got invited to a family barbecue that was being hosted by his brother, my step-uncle, and me and my mom decided to tag along. We got there without incident, and for the first hour or so, everyone was having a pretty great time. Food was good, the weather was great, everyone was laughing. A typical family barbecue. About two hours into the party, my stepfather's daughter, the entitled mother, arrives with her son, such a cute boy, who was about three when this went down. Almost as soon as she arrived, she set her son loose into the yard so he could play and instantly started complaining to the other guests about how difficult it was to get there, how expensive gas money was, how difficult her son was being, etc. Putting aside the fact that she came to the party out of the blue with no indication that she wanted to come, and how she was bringing everyone down with her complaints. The main issue of the situation was that she just left her son roam around this yard unattended. Now, this yard is huge, with a very deep slope that leads to a busy street and a small hill towards the back of the property that leads to the woods, with a pretty deep creek. On top of that, the cute boy is autistic, with a few other special needs to boot, so he tends to wander off and get lost a lot. Needless to say, this whole situation was making me very nervous. So as we were talking by the grill, I was constantly looking over my shoulder to see where her son was and what he was doing. After a few minutes, however, Entitled Mother spoke up. Entitled Mother OP, let him play on his own. He doesn't need you breathing down his neck. Me, I'm just worried that he might get hurt or go a little too far into the woods. Entitled mother, what, are you a child expert? You don't have any children of your own. What would you know about any of this? Mom, well, OP is studying in college to work with children. Entitled mother, you are? Me. Yeah, I want to get my degree in child development psychotherapy. After I said that, Entitled Mother went silent for a bit, and the conversation ended there. About 20 minutes later, the cute boy came running up to us and told us he had to go potty. Entitled Mother then suggested that I should show him where it was, because I had been to my stuck uncle's house more than she had. I thought it was a bit odd, but... I didn't mind because I love this cute boy and I'm always happy to help him out. So we go inside and I help him get to the toilet and wash his hands, no problem. However, by the time we came back out, both Entitled Mother and her car were gone. I quickly asked my mom where she went, but she had no idea. So I'm rushing around this party asking pretty much everyone if they knew where Entitled Mother drove off to, which was a resound no from everyone. At this point, my stepfather, step-uncle, and my mom are all trying to contact Entitled Mother. Cute Boy is slowly getting more and more upset because he doesn't know where his mother is. I try to calm him down, telling him it's just gonna be me and him chilling for a while until his mother came back. He quickly perked up and started to play around with a few toys laying around for the kids to play with. Four hours pass before Entitled Mother comes back to the party. Her son runs up to her and gives her a hug, basically the only person happy to see her right now. That's when my stepfather and step-uncle storm up to her and start questioning her. Stepfather where the hell were you? Your son was worried sick. Entitled mother, I'm a grown adult. I don't have to tell you where I am every five seconds. Chill out. Stepfather, you were gone for four hours 
without telling us where you were going or when you would be back. You can't do that. Entitled mother. Well, OP is here, so I can. Step uncle. What are you talking about? Entitled mother. She's majoring in child whatever in college. Isn't her future job to watch kids all day? Me. That doesn't mean you can abandon your son. At this point, I knew I had called upon the cursed wrath of the entitled parent. Entitled mother. How dare you? I did not abandon him. I came back. What? I can't have fun anymore? He's a good boy. You should feel honored to care for him. I go to smoke weed one time, and now you're all on my case like I'm a bad mother? You don't even have children, so how would you know? Step uncle, you were smoking weed? Mom, does smoking weed take that long? I don't think Entitled Mother intended for anyone to know that she was smoking weed, because after she realized that she outed herself to everyone, she grabbed her son quickly and drove off the property. I haven't heard from Entitled Mother since then. My stepfather has told me that she has sent him a ton of text messages about how I'm a terrible person and how I should cut ties with his side of the family. Honestly, I'm not that concerned about her trash talking. As selfish as this may sound, I'm more upset over the fact that instead of enjoying the rest of the party, I had to spend four hours babysitting while trying to track down Entitled Mother. But hey, karma, I guess. Update. Okay, so something crazy happened yesterday, which is totally ironic seeing as I just posted this story. So, Entitled Mother just got arrested. I haven't gotten all the details yet, but from what I've been told, Entitled Mother got caught with possession of marijuana. Weed is illegal in my state. She hasn't been able to post bail as of the time I am posting this update. My stepfather has refused to post her bail, much to Entitled Mother's horror. My stepfather has taken temporary custody of her son until this whole thing gets sorted out. Although my step-uncle has expressed a lot of interest in becoming her son's legal guardian and has even begun, just today, to build a fence around his yard, so her son can't wander away if he came to live there. And this brings us to our second story of this Entitled Mother. Entitled Mother says, I don't need a car, even though I'm an essential worker, then tries to steal it. Hey again, guys. I'm sorry if this seems like a long rant, but I'm so furious right now. I need to get this off my chest. A little backstory. Right now, I am a student in college pursuing a degree in child developmental psychotherapy. This semester, I got an internship at a local mental hospital so I could get experience and make it easier for me to get into grad school later on. The hospital I work at isn't just a facility for short-term patients though. Some of the people who live there are permanent residents, ranging in age from 6 to 78. For various reasons, I won't name specifics out of respect for our residents' privacy. Basically, our goal is to do everything possible to help people recover from a mental illness or episode and to provide a comfortable quality of life for our permanent residents. Needless to say, I deeply enjoyed my internship there. After the initial COVID-19 outbreak, all internships within the hospital were suspended until further notice. So I stopped going for a good three weeks and tried to focus on school. Then one of my old bosses called me in tears, filling me in on the current state of the hospital. There had been three positive cases of COVID-19 out of which two had passed away. Twelve employees had quit, or simply not came into work at all anymore, and to top it all off, there was a surge in people admitting themselves or others to the facility. A good chunk of people admitted were children whose parents claimed they had some form of mental defect, although I suspect that they simply didn't know what to do with them. Once she had finished telling me about the situation, I immediately begged her to put me on the next work schedule. She agreed, 
and I've been working there ever since. Now, I don't want to come across as arrogant or pretending to be a martyr or anything like that. In all honesty, I think I am very underqualified compared to someone with actual medical experience or training. But all I know is that these people at this hospital are dependent on us for care, support, love, and help. And I will be goddamned if I just sit by and watch bad things happen to these people. Simple as that. Sorry, that was a long backstory. On to the actual story. Ever since I started working at the hospital, my hours have been absolutely insane. There have been times where I spent 48 to 50 hours straight at the building. I eat when I can, I sleep at three hour intervals so I can get up in the middle of the night and check on our residents and patients. I do my virtual lectures and homework while organizing patient files. As awful and maybe selfish as this sounds, I do try to get on my switch around midnight and take care of my Animal Crossing town. I'm weak. Basically, I'm lucky if I'm able to spend 30 hours at my home. That's where our Entitled Mother comes into the picture. If you have read the edit on my last Entitled Mother post, yes, it is the same woman. You already know this, but if you didn't, basically she got arrested for drug possession and subsequently lost custody of her son. Ever since, she has been absolutely desperate to get custody of him again. So she has been scrambling between family members, trying to acquire things that make her look like a responsible parent. Baby gates, child safety locks, a new fridge, a new bed, countless new toys. I could go on and on. However, she went to her dad, my stepdad, for the most expensive thing she needed, a car. My stepdad refused because he was recently laid off because of the pandemic and we can't really afford to be buying something so expensive and not even be able to use it. I've been giving a portion of my paychecks to my parents to help ease the burden. It's not much in the grand scheme of things, but it's enough. I don't think we're in trouble financially, but if worse came to worse, I would start giving 100% of my paycheck to them. After this conversation, Entitled Mother drove to our house. Yes, drove. She had a car and tried to plead her case with my stepdad again. I was sleeping in my room at this point, but my stepdad told me about the conversation and it basically went like this. Entitled Mother, Dad, please, I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important. Stepdad, you already have a car though. Entitled Mother, yeah, but it's not an awesome car. I need one with heated seats and a built-in GPS. Stepdad, I don't think a judge would really care what kind of car you have, as long as it's a car. Entitled Mother, you are so selfish. I need this so I can get my son back, and you aren't even willing to help. How could you let my baby be taken away without helping me get him back? Don't you think your grandson deserves something nice after what he's been through? Stepdad, I can't afford it. I'm sorry, even if I wanted to, I can't do anything. Entitled Mother, then let me have OP's car. Stepdad, OP needs that car to go to work. She's an essential worker. Entitled Mother, mm, that's debatable. Making sure some psycho doesn't off themselves isn't really essential. I bet she doesn't even do anything anyways. She's probably just lying about the job so she can go get high or screw some dude. Dad, I am your daughter. She is nothing but some half-breed. I'm mixed race. Just give me the car. Stepdad, the answer is no. Get out. Figure this shit out yourself. I'm not helping you. I thought the situation was over after that conversation. <laughs> nope. I don't know how she did it, but Entitled Mother got my work's address and went there while I was working. I was on hour 5 of an 18-hour shift when my boss took me aside and told me that my car 
had been vandalized and she had called the police. When I went to look outside, I saw Entitled Mother handcuffed and arguing with a police officer in front of my car. Apparently, she had tried to steal my car by breaking the driver's side window and attempting to hotwire my car. When she couldn't hotwire my car, she got out, broke one of my taillights, then keyed a word that I morally refuse to even type on my driver's side door. As pathetic as this sounds, I started sobbing as soon as I saw the damage. Maybe it was the lack of sleep catching up to me. Maybe it was the shock. All I know is that I was gross crying in front of my boss, Entitled Mother, and the police. Entitled Mother was yelling things at me, but I couldn't tell you what they were if I tried. I just went into autopilot. I gave my statement to the police, confirmed that I wanted to press charges, called a tow for my poor car, and took an Uber home. I honestly hope that was the end of her bullshit for at least a while, because I don't think I can handle any more of her. Everything right now. I fixed my car as much as I could on my budget. I had an extra taillight, so I put it in. I put a trash bag over the broken window, and I used duct tape to cover up the word she keyed into my door. I'm just thankful that she didn't cut anything important. The ironic thing is, my stepdad's family is talking about pulling money together so they can get me a new car. When my stepdad asked me if I had any preferences, I told him I wanted heated seats and a built-in GPS. Oh, sweet karma. Bail hasn't been set yet on Entitled Mother, but all I know is that after this, she is not getting her son back. I'm happy for that though. That boy deserves so much more than she could give. And maybe now, he will get it. Thanks for listening to my rant, you guys. Stay safe out there. And that brings us to our final story of this Entitled Mother. Entitled Mother tries to poison my cat because I wouldn't let her have him. This happened two years ago to clear up any confusion. So, I have a pet cat named Squish. Guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how much I adore this freaking cat. My brother and I found him abandoned in a cardboard box when he was a newborn. He hadn't even opened his little eyes yet. We took him home and quite literally begged on our knees until our mom said we could keep him. Ever since, Squish has been a part of our family. Now, something I need you guys to understand is that this cat is very attached to our family. He will run to the door to greet us if he hears our voices. He will paw at any of us to pick him up and cuddle him. He will even pick up cat treats and take them to me or my brother to try and share them with us. Point is, my family loves Squish, and Squish loves us back. Remember this, it becomes important later. Enter our entitled mother. She and her son had come over to our house for an afternoon to visit and stay for dinner. At first, this visit was going perfect. Entitled mother wasn't being a total jerk. Her son was having a great time. Seemed like a smooth evening, right? Yeah, not with Entitled Mother. Me, my brother, her son, and Entitled Mother were all in the living room playing with Squish when Entitled Mother started talking. Entitled Mother, my son loves Squish so much. My brother, what's not to love? He's such a bean. Entitled Mother, yeah, so I've been meaning to get my son a cat. Me, that's cool. I'm sure he would love to have a little pet. Entitled Mother Yeah, he would, but most pet stores are so expensive. Me Well, I would go to an animal shelter if I were you. There are plenty of pets there that need some love, and I think it might be cheaper than a pet store. Entitled Mother OP, I don't think you get it. I don't want to pay for a cat. My brother Well, you know you can't have Squish, right? Entitled Mother, and why can't I? Me. First, because he's not your cat. Second, because he already has a forever home. Third, he is very attached to us, and I don't think it would be right to take him from his family. Entitled Mother, 
My son deserves a nice cat. He's a good boy. My brother. Then go to a shelter, like OP said. There are tons of cats there that need a home. Entitled mother. Those cats are boring. I want your cat. Me. No. Entitled mother. But me. I'm not having this discussion with you. The answer is no. Drop it. By some miracle, that actually worked for a bit. The night continued as planned. After dinner, her son was getting a bit restless, so we decided to take him outside and play. Entitled Mother claimed she had an important phone call to make, so she would stay inside. I was suspicious, but I didn't push it. Me, my brother, and her son played around in the backyard for about 20 minutes, while my mom and stepdad sat on the porch. I got pretty thirsty from chasing an energetic toddler around, so I went inside to get some water from the fridge. I went into the kitchen, and never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined what I saw. There was Entitled Mother in front of the counter with a now empty bottle of my epilepsy medication. She was using a spoon to crush up my pills, and she had an unopened can of wet cat food standing by. Needless to say, it didn't take long for me to put two and two together. Something I need you guys to know about me is that I don't get angry that often. I get upset, annoyed, frustrated, but it is rare for me to get truly furious at someone. Seeing her there, in my home, trying to poison my squish, just clicked something in my brain. I felt my chest get hot and tight, and the corners of my vision were turning red as I stomped up to confront her. I mean, what the hell are you doing? Entitled Mother. OP, it's not what it look- Me. Oh, I think it is what it looks like. So, I'm going to let you try again. What the hell are you doing? Entitled Mother. Well, you wouldn't let me have him. Me. So you try to effing poison him? Entitled Mother. It's not like I didn't give you an option. I asked you to give him to me, and you said no. Take this as a lesson. Never refuse a request by someone who is older than you. She then continued to crush up the pills. Now, I'm not a strong or big person by any means. I'm 4'4", and Entitled Mother is 5'7". That size difference has always been a big reason as to why I try not to get physical with her. But I was just so mad and worried that she was actually going to poison my cat that I just acted. I grabbed her wrist and said very firm, stop. She then proceeds to stop, then turns around, grabs me by my hair, and pulls as hard as she possibly could. I started to scream at the top of my lungs, and that was enough to get my mom and stepdad to come in and see what's going on. And Tana Mother lets go of my hair, and my mother proceeds to tear into her. My mom, how dare you grab my child like that? Entitled mother, she grabbed my wrist. Mom, I don't give an F what she did. You have no right to touch my child like that. Entitled mother, I'll get you arrested for assault. My mom, sweetheart, I'm going to be arrested for your murder if you don't get the F out of my house. I guess that was enough to scare Entitled Mother, because she quickly grabbed her son and drove off our property as fast as she could. I filled my mom in on what happened after she left. My mother got a scared look in her eyes. She grabbed my stepdad by the collar of his shirt, dragged them to her their bedroom, and stayed there for about three hours. When they emerged, my stepdad said that Entitled Mother was no longer allowed to come to our house. Happy to say that Squish still lives with us, and is as happy and healthy as he can be. The best part of this whole story is that, ever since this happened, my mother makes a point to tag Entitled Mother in random pictures of our cat from time to time. And that's gonna wrap up today's post. What do you guys think about this Entitled Mother and OP stories? We would love to hear your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a comment. It always helps us out a lot. 
And if you'd like to hear more and see more posts from r slash entitled parents and other subreddits when they come out on the channel, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching and for listening. If you've made it this far, we'll be wrapping up each entitled parents post with a bonus video of our own little entitled daughter. Enjoy. What are you doing with my ear? What are you doing with my ear? Daddy's ear. <laughs> Whoa! Daddy's ear. What are you doing with Daddy's ear? Daddy's ear. What are you doing? Ah! Daddy's ear. What are you doing to my ears?